Hey guys, it's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure view. And today we have something a little different. We're taking a look at the Nerds Retro Ringside Collectibles exclusive Tanahashi. We have two different versions here. We have the Black Cat and the Red Cat variant. You can see the attire is something a little different. And again, I'm not the biggest retro fan. I know this may not appeal to all collectors out there, but there are some who like the retro figure. So I figured this would be kind of a fun, quick review to go through, just to kind of give you an idea what this figure is all about. Again, this is a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. That's the only place you're going to be able to grab it. When you guys shop there, use code for life. It will save you 10% off your order at checkout. So these retros are a little premium. They are a little pricey. They're, I think, $35 each. So we're definitely going to take a quick dive in, see what they're all about. But we'll bring each kind of figure in in packaging again you can see the different tights uh on tanahashi he's kind of got more of a black design on this one with the black cat got the awesome image here looks pretty cool got the new japan logo the ringside club was exclusive logo on the back you got your retro card and if you guys do want to pause that and read uh the stats and all they'll read up here on the back again the carding is pretty nice it's got some thickness to it. it's not cheap i really do like that and we're gonna bring in the red cat variant you can see kind of a more of a more colorful vibe uh, than the uh, uh, other black cat uh, version here. See, he's got the the red cat. This is pretty funny. He's got a nice expression on there. Again, the rest of the carding is the same from what I'm seeing. Nothing too different. The back is exactly the same. But uh, let's crack these two figures out of the packaging and take a quick look. Getting both Tanahashi figures out of the packaging, we're going to start off with the Black Cat version. That's what they're calling the website, so I'm going to roll with it. You can see uh, as far as articulation-wise, again, it is a retro. There is not much articulation that's going to go with it. You can kind of move the hands up and down. If you guys want to get a quick look at his face, again, you can look at his tights here. It has some nice design to it with a black. Got the little uh, painted belt on there. Got a little bit of those uh, that fuzzy kind of... Uh, fabric looking uh, material obviously it's not fuzzy but looks like it would be over his boots he's got the red soles on the bottom and that's really it and here is the cat that comes with the figure uh this is pretty funny again i'm not even gonna sit here and try to act like i'm an expert and know exactly what all this is about this is really out of my realm i just wanted to give you guys a, a kind of a look at these figures to see if it's something you would be interested in uh but it does have the black on the back and again the other version comes with a red cat and it is of course red on the back versus the black so quick comparison between the two cats and the other tanahashi again same head sculpt same hair it's just the tights are different more of a multicolor look here it's got the cat on the crotch that's freaking freaking hilarious man uh different designs here again different color variation red soles on the bottom you guys want to get a quick comparison of the two I don't know how many people are actually going to do videos on this, so I figured this would be a good opportunity, again, for you retro fans out there to kind of give you an idea of what this figure is all about. And I'll be honest, I don't have the biggest collection of any of these retro style figures, but I do have a few and I wanted to bring them in here for some comparisons to give you some ideas. So on the left, we have the Hasbro Hulk Hogan. Uh, next that we have the Mattel Retro Mean Gene and the Ringside Collectibles Exclusive Retro Hollywood Hogan. Before we wrap up here, if you guys haven't already, do me a favor, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Comment and let me know what you think of these action figures. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. As far as these figures go, I'll be honest, not my cup of tea. I, like I said, I just don't really collect retros. I more so did this video for you guys who are interested and in, are curious about these figures um, to give you an idea what they're all about. Again, retros, I feel like they're just so many different companies and brands doing them um you know they're pretty plentiful and, and very healthy so i'm glad for you guys who like those old school figures are able to go out there and grab them personally I, it's just why i don't like them is i'm just so used to the the new school style and technology of figures to me as a kid i remember playing with hasbros and being disappointed like these guys don't move like real people so that used to really bother me uh now i have the opportunity to play with guys who i can pose like real people so uh I guess this is more of a nostalgia act, but uh, personally, the only nostalgic figures I had from the, those retro days were the Hulk's, Hulk Hogan figures, which I do have all of those in my collection. Um, obviously, on the best condition because they do go for quite a bit of money. But again, Tanahashi, a great uh, uh, wrestler from New Japan. Uh, so a good representation here as a retro. And if you guys are interested, again, you can grab this from Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code 4 to save 10% off your order. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review, and I'll catch you all on the next one.